In this video, I'd like to show you how to transfer a survey file that was created in GageView Thickness to an instrument to begin saving readings. I'd also like to show you how to create multiple survey files within a data set and then do a bulk download. So rather than transferring one file at a time, you can transfer multiple files. So in my last video, I explained how to create a database and a data set, and we created this survey file test. So the survey file is what the instrument will actually read. So now that it's created, I can actually transfer it to the instrument. So the first thing I need to do is initialize it. So if I click device and then click config, I'm using a 38DL plus and a USB cable. So I'm going to choose this and then click add and then click OK. So the instrument's initialized. If I click 38DL plus, it shows me any files that are on the instrument. So right now I just have the no name 00 file, which is a default file that will always be on the instrument. So now I can actually transfer the test file that I created. So it's a drag and drop system. So if I click test and then drag and drop under no name 00 in the upper window, the file transfers to the instrument. It now appears in my upper window in Gage View, and also on the instrument. If I click File, it shows this is the open file. The instrument will always open the last file that was transferred to it. Also, if I press Enter on Open, you'll notice I have Test and No Name 00 now in my data logger. So from here, I could start taking readings, saving them to test and then transfer that file back into Gage View. So if you want to create multiple survey files off of the same data set, it's going to share the same format and same structure of the file. You just have to give it a unique name. So to do that, I would click the data set and then click the create new survey icon. So you do have to give it a survey name. So I can do test two. and then click OK. If I wanted to create multiple surveys at once, I could click Create New Survey, give a survey name, and then choose how many surveys. If I wanted to do two at the same time. And these surveys will all have the same format, which is nice. So you can do multiple inspections and just change the file name based on the new date that you're taking the inspection. And they'll all have the same format. It creates job zero and job one. If I wanted to, I could click edit and then enable edit and then right click this and rename it to whatever I would like. So now rather than transferring the files one at a time, I'm going to show how to do a bulk download. So to do that, you would click the database and then right click and choose bulk download. So now you can choose which files you want to transfer to the instrument. I'm going to do job zero, job one, and test two, and then click OK. So this saves me from having to individually transfer files one at a time. The reverse, when you're going from the instrument to gauge view, you still have to do one file at a time. But if you're building the files in gauge view, you can actually do a bulk download to transfer more than one file at a time to the instrument. So this is convenient so you can set it up, start transferring the data, then come back to it and it should have all the files transferred onto the instrument. So it shows the data set slash the survey file. So if I had other data sets created, I could choose survey files from those data sets and then add them to my bulk download so they all transfer together. So then you can click OK. So now in the upper window, if I kind of refresh the instrument, the files are shown in the upper window on the instrument. 